Hey, what's up, people? This is Ike Love. I'm creating off the blog, The Viable Alternative, which is an inspirational blog where I share the wisdom and insights gained on my path of becoming a greater, stronger version of myself. And if you want to read more on the site, you can go on www.theviablealternative.com, which you can find by clicking on the description on the window, and you can see the link. Um, I want to make a confession in that um, I almost didn't do a video this week. Um, well, I had some ideas, but I just basically wasn't really in the mood. And I decided I'd have to do something, so I'm just going to basically keep it real. And it's been kind of a challenging week, I mean, in the midst of a challenging year. And um, one thing I just was able to really take note about myself this week is just how I really just really get in my way. Um, it's like with me and the reason why I, I've just really not achieved the success that I would like, it's just that I just noticed this is how I am inconsistent in the way I like take action and move forward. I'll be on a flow momentum and then something happens, a disappointment or a blow to my ego or, um, some type of setback and it just completely throws me off. And I go into this funk. I don't really feel like doing anything anymore. My momentum gets shot. And I just kind of like, um, how do I say, wallow about and uh, kill any momentum. And then only to start again. And then the same cycle happens. Um, I heard some, I think it was like last Tuesday, I heard some news that I wasn't really too happy about, about someone I know. And um, it just kind of threw me for a little bit of a tailspin. And on a visceral level, it felt like something was just sitting on my chest and I just lost all motivation to even go to the gym or um, I lost my enthusiasm for going forward in my life. And it just, I was in a funk. And um, in the midst of all that, I was just thinking, I was just kind of like saying, yo, this is just not cool. You know, how do I, every single time something happens that throws me off, I allow it to throw me off and allow it to throw off my momentum. This is not the way a person who wants to be successful should behave. You need to get over it, you know? You need to get out of your own way. I mean, um, yeah, this is this has just been an issue. And I just really, um, I'm not, by the way, I'm not complaining. I'm not making excuses. I'm just letting you out know out this is what is, and this is what has been getting in my way. This is how I've been getting in my own way. Um, I love to do uplifting videos of where I share the wisdom and insights gained along my path to become a greater version, a stronger version of myself. But um, on the flip side, these are some of the challenges that I face. And um, yeah, I mean, yeah, yes. I mean, like I said, I love doing uplifting videos. I love getting messages. Um, and in fact, when I do these videos and messages that I share wisdom, actually a lot of them, all of them are basically to me, myself. They're actually addressed to me. I just choose to share them to, uh, with others. They're addressed to me now to, as a reminder to remember the wisdom, wisdom that I've been through and what I've learned. And they're also a reminder of what I'll tell myself in, in the, my past self five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. And, um, you know, it's just something I do to keep myself um, afloat and going forward. But on the flip side, like I said, these are the summer challenges that I face on my path. And one of them is now what I'm describing to you is just my freaking inconsistency. And really speaking, I really need to get over this now and get my stuff together because it's really now I'm looking, I just can't, can't be continuing like this, you know? Um, yeah. So sorry, I'm not giving an uplifting video. Um, I did have several subjects I wanted to talk about. I really just wasn't in the mood. I wasn't in the mood. And so I decided instead of fighting against the flow to go with the flow and just show you another part of myself and, um, I won't say my dark side, but just the side, the side that I struggle with a lot. And um, there's a phrase that says, he who fails to conquer himself uh, can expect to conquer little, little else. And this is something that really now really gets in the way of my success. Um, I know people have said stuff to me in the past that have been hurtful. Think people have done stuff to me. Things have happened to me in the past. But really, the major obstacle in my path to grow and become successful is me, the one person sitting here in front of you talking in this video. And um, really in the upcoming weeks, I need to really find a way to stop this thing from happening because consistently I'll be in a momentum. Something happens and I allow it to throw me off and I allow it to throw my momentum. And um, even if I do get hurt about something, uh, I need to find a way to minimize it. So if it, even if it reduces the momentum, it doesn't kill it. 
you know, I mean, hey, I feel very deeply if you're into astrology. My moon is in Scorpio. We supposed to feel very deeply and it's kind of freaking annoying to tell you the truth. And for years, I've actually tried to suppress my emotions because I know how sensitive I am. But um, really, I mean, that obviously I learned over the years is not a viable option. So, you know, um, I, I just need to find a stronger way to feel my emotions, but not let them throw me off course as they've, as they've done. And it's funny, in the midst of this, I've had the fortune of being around friends that have been doing some really inspiring stuff, at least inspiring to me. Um, a friend of mine wrote this amazing book called uh, The Gorgon Medusa. <laughs> and uh, it's a long book, but it's really like a page turner. And I know he's not free of challenges, but he was able to stick consistently enough to um, complete this book. I mean, I'm almost halfway done, but I mean, and he's actually written two more books in a trilogy, almost done with the third. And here I am sitting here struggling with my emotions. <laughs> you know, I come on, you know, come on. It's like time for me to now find a way to overcome this and give my gifts to the world. I have another friend who finally, after all these years of like, you know, trying to find his way in business and stuff like that, he's hit on something amazing. And now he's coming to his own. And he's able to travel a lot more to different countries. And because he has no wife or kids uh, and no student loans, he really is chilling. <laughs> and I was talking to him last night. And I'm just saying this guy has challenges and he's been able to now start to create an amazing life for himself that people will envy. I have another friend of mine who had, I, I, I've met as a model. We have the same mentor and he's had a multitude of challenges and he just booked a major role in an opera in Lincoln Center, not as an actor, or as a singer, but as a model. And he has such an imposing presence, this powerful presence. He's from Cote d'Ivoire and he's dark skinned, very muscular, that they put him on just to be a presence in the actual opera. And it's booked, um, he's booked until April. This is a huge breakthrough for him. And I'm sitting here, I'm saying like, you know, people, they have their own challenges, but they are able to conquer their demons. And what excuse do I have for me to completely keep on getting thrown aside by this one obstacle that I allowed to continually get on my way? It's unacceptable. You know, I need to get my ish together. So, yeah. Hey, man, this is me. I'm pretty. This is the I'm pretty part of me, you know. And I just decided, hey, man, to show you. Yeah, I give up lifting stuff, but this is stuff that I still struggle with. And um, really what my option is now is, again, working with what I've learned the past few months is just to be still and allow myself to listen to God speak to my spirit and lead me back onto my path and take things step by step. Also to surrender and um, allow, you know, um, I was put here for a certain purpose and I cannot do anything but be but that purpose. I just need to get out of my own way. So um, in the coming uh, hours after I finish this video, I'm going to just spend time by myself and just being still. I mean, I'm just saying literally being still like a like a board, but being still and just being open and just like um, allowing um, the wisdom and God's insight to um, feed into me so that I can, um, be led because I, I need a lot of leading right now. So, um, anyway, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't have a really uplifting message. I don't know whether you got anybody listening to this is having their own challenges right now. Um, Hey, I just say be encouraged. Um, I'm not giving up, but just, I really got to find a way to continue staying on course. And, you know, um, the struggle continues <laughs> or the battle continues. The the journey continues. And so um, I hope this helps <laughs> for what it's worth. Um, if you want to read more on that, my site, again, go to www.theviablealternative.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, The Viable Alt. I'm sorry I didn't have more for you, but this is what I have. I'm just being real. I'm not going to try and fake and give a really uplifting message when I really am not in that space now. I just was really open just to be being real. And this is what I am right now. But um, hey, you know, life goes in cycles. Before we get back up, before we get back up, I'm getting back up. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope all this helps. God bless everyone. If you're in your struggle, um, keep the faith. Take care. God bless. Talk to you soon. Peace.